put the software CD into the computer. Find and open the software CD in the computer. There are several files in the CD. This is a training video for the Da Qin mobile phone screen protector cutting machine. This file contains the screen protector template state of various mobile phones. The series of numbers in the file name is the same with your subdoc number. This is a software installation package. This is a machine user manual. This is a software user guide. Double click to open the software installation package. Select English language. Click next. Click I agree. Click next. The target directory should be any disk except for local disk C. Click start. The software will be installed automatically. Click OK. Now the software installation is completed. After software installation, there will be an icon of Da Qin on the desktop. Insert the subdoc. Once the subdoc is connected with the computer, the yellow light at the end of the subdoc will be turned on. If the yellow light is not on, please try to insert the subdoc into another USB port. Double click the icon to open the software. If your computer is installed with antivirus software, there may be a prompt like this Stop this program. Please allow to run this program so that the software can run normally. When you open the software for the first time, there is no data in the software. Click Edit. As the dialog box of images, click Local Update. And then find the CS format file, which is named by a series of numbers. Select the file, open it. And then the date will be added into the software automatically. After the editing process is completed, close the dialog box. Now, all the template that is in the software. Type mobile phone model here to search the template that you need, such as iPhone 6. Double click to select the mobile phone model. And then the corresponding template state of screen protector will be displayed automatically. Select the date. Click the icon of output to machine. It will pop up a dialog box of outputs. Move the mouse to the box of the lower right left corner. The mouse pointer will become a right cross. The right cross represents the anchor point of the laser. The anchor point should be adjusted according to the position of the screen protector film in the machine. And then click Output. All the parameters in the dialog box are default settings. Please do not modify any parameter. Next, let's have a look at the operation of cutting multiple screen protectors continually. 
firstly reduce the zoom level so that we can see the complete cutting area. Double click to select the mobile phone model that you want to cut. The corresponding template state of Supreme Protector will be displayed automatically. Arrange all the template state within a full size area. Do not exceed the right box. Select all the template states of screen protectors. Click the icon of Output to Machine. It will pop up a dialog box of outputs. Move the mouse to the box of the lower left corner. The mouse pointer will become a right cross. The right cross represents the anchor point of the laser. When cutting multiple screen protectors, the right cross must at the upper left corner. Otherwise, the leather head will easily collide with the machine and then it will be filed to cut and then click Output. All the parameters in the dialog box are default settings. Please do not modify any parameter. Firstly, input the scanned picture to the computer desktop. The size of the scanned picture and the size of the original mobile phone should be with a proportion of 1 to 1. Open the software. Click Input. Find and open the scanned picture. Click View. Select Draw Tools. Here it will display some tools for drawing. Adjust the edit error to see the complete picture. Must do not drag the size of the original scanned picture, or the date won't be accurate. Now we draw a rectangle according to the scanned mobile screen picture. Adjust the size to be fit for the screen center. If you need to draw a rounded corner, please click Object Properties on the right side. Adjust the round diameter as required. Then, adjust the size to be fit for the whole mobile screen. Then, we draw a small rectangle for the light sensor and the receiver.
at last draw a circle aimed at the center of front camera. After drawing, drag the scanned picture to the side. Right click the mouse and select delete. Select all the drawings. Right click the mouse and select group. Now the drawings become one complete template state and then click save. Select yes. Type the brand name. Click OK. Type the mobile phone model. Click OK. For the newly added mobile phone model, there will be a mark on the left. Select this model and then click the check mark. Now the date is stored in the software permanently. Above all the operation of how to add external dates.